So for essential thrombocythemia, ET, um, the standard of care really depends on the risk of ET. Uh, conventionally, uh, the risk of ET would be defined as being uh, very low, uh, um, low, intermediate and high risk. These are all based on the platelet count, the presence of JAK2 mutations, H, and the presence of uh, cardiovascular risk factors. So in the sort of very low risk or low risk patients, normally uh, we would give them aspirin and we would monitor them if there are indications of cytoreduction, reduction like progressive thrombocytosis, or patients developing symptoms, then we would consider options for cytoreduction. reduction. Whereas those patients who are at a high, high risk uh, ET, for instance, patients uh, age 65 or above, um, with JAK2 mutation and cardiovascular risk factors, those patients at the outright would be treated with aspirin together with cytoreduction. reduction. And the point now is, uh, what is the best cytoreduction reduction therapy for these patients? So I think uh, now and in the very near future, now we are actually moving towards more sort of a personalized uh, cytoreductive reductive options for our patients. Very old individuals, older individuals, obviously most of these, the first line treatment would be hydroxyurea uh, as one of the cytor effective cytoreductive reductive agents uh, that would uh, reduce the platelet count, that would reduce the risk of thrombosis. However, for younger patients, the acceptance for a prolonged use of oral chemotherapy is not welcomed by most of the patients, especially the younger patients. And obviously, patients, younger patients, there's also uh, another uh, consideration of conception where it's not really advisable to use hydroxyurea. And so the other options uh, that we could that we are actually using first line for our younger patients, like the use of uh, interferon alpha preparations. Right. For interferon alpha preparations, we know there are like first generation, second generation, or the current generations of interferon alpha. Um, the commonest obviously would be uh, that is being used. Uh, it's pegylid interferon alpha 2A. It's one of the commonest uh, interferon preparation being used in patients with MPN and we reserve it for younger patients with MPN. And uh, um, obviously the newer generations of uh, interferon preparations like ROPAC interferon alpha 2A hasn't been uh, licensed um, for essential thrombocythemia and uh, it's basically still in a phase three study. So we are eagerly awaiting for those results. And obviously uh, there's also heightened interest about other novel agents, targeted therapy, that would not only control the platelet count, but would also uh, help modify the disease. So I think this, this is the current summary of the standards.